Today, FIDA Nigeria Abuja branch joins the world in commemorating the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women with a lineup of several activities. We actually started yesterday with a visit to the Suleja and Kujie custodial centers of the Nigerian Correctional Services with the Chief Judge of the Federal Capital Territory, my Lord Honorable Justice Ishak U. Belo, where we had paid fines for some female convicts whose conviction had options of fines. A line of activities for this year's commemoration, which will end on the 10th of December, 10th of December usually is the International Day, we include, but not limited to this press conference, an advocacy work tomorrow, visits to the Nigerian Police and the National Agency for the Prevention of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTI, while simultaneously we intend to train community paralegals within some local and or indigenous communities in the Federal Capital Territory as first responders to addressing issues of violence at the grassroots. This year, the United Nations is calling for the world to orange the world, fund, respond, protect, and collect. As the 25th day of November commences the 16 days of activism, of activism to draw continuous attention to the menace of violence against women and the need to eliminate it, FIDA Nigeria Abuja branch further expresses its condemnation of all forms of violence in its entirety. This year has been a challenging year in the world with the COVID-19 pandemic. And then in Nigeria came the NSAS slash police brutality protest, which resulted in crises and curfews nationwide, causing further distress to the vulnerable in the society. FIDA Nigeria acted in line by funding, supporting programs, responded to calls, and strove to prevent all forms of gender-based violence against the vulnerable in the society. Ending gender-based violence and discrimination is a global priority that requires collective action. There is no doubt that violence against women and girls remains a persistent human rights violation in the world. In Nigeria, this year particularly has been a horror for a lot of women and girls as it seems that the COVID-19 crisis intensified gender-based violence, especially domestic violence. This is highly unfortunate. The branch appeals to Nigerian communities to make genuine efforts to protect women and girls from all forms of violence. Accordingly, FIDA Nigeria calls on all stakeholders to play an active part in the sensitization, prevention, protection, and enforcement to ensure the elimination of these ills in our society. The call for elimination of violence is imperative as the rate of violence has escalated due to the COVID-19 pandemic and other related reasons as aforesaid. Reports clearly shows an alarming increase in the already existing pandemic of violence against women and children. The United Nations Secretary General, in delivering his report on shared responsibility, global solidarity, responding to the socioeconomic impact of COVID-19 stated that accompanying the crisis has been a spike in domestic violence reporting at exactly the time that service, including rule of law, health, and shelters are being diverted to address the pandemic. Nevertheless, in Nigeria this year, there have been considerable efforts towards tackling and creating awareness on the prevalence of violence against women, especially on rape. We must commend the amazing efforts of FIDA Nigeria, who in her bid to curb the high rates of gender-based violence during the lockdown engaged in different programs, ranging from press conference, advocacy visits to Attorney General of the Federation and Attorney General of various states, visits to Inspector General of Police and State Commissioners of Police, partnership with various media houses, such as we are witnessing this morning, sensitization rallies, and social media campaigns. We must also commend all the civil society organizations and non-governmental organizations who galvanized to quickly raise an alarm against the rise in violence against women and girls, especially rape, which culminated in positive responses from government and its agencies. This include and are not limited to the declaration of a state of emergency against rape by state governments, 
setting up of the Interministerial Gender-Based Violence Management Committee by the Attorney General of the Federation, the adoption of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act by more states in Nigeria. We saw that in the wake of the pandemic, we saw that a lot, um, some, uh, a lot more of the states adopted the VAP Act, which we think it's a right, um, is a right act in the right direction. In spite of this, there is need to do more. Violence against women continues to be an obstacle to achieving equality, development, peace, as well as to the fulfillment of women and girls' human rights in Nigeria. There is need to increase awareness, raise conscious responders in local communities, and strengthen partnerships with other stakeholders. Accordingly, FIDA Nigeria, in keeping in line with this year's team to fund respond, prevent, and collect, is putting together a project to provide access of justice at the grassroots level for victims of gender-based violence by training community paralegals. We accordingly call on the federal and state governments to fund this project in addition to the establishment of gender desk at police stations and the Ministry of Justice will train personnel for accelerated treatment of cases one-stop referral centers in all states with rapid response units and sex offenders registers with a shared database, free and compulsory psychoanalysis for the accused, special courts for speedy trial of gender-based violence cases, protection for victims of gender-based violence, adoption of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act and the Child Rights Act in all states of the Federation and the review of the penal and criminal code to be in tandem with the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act. We insist on the implementation of all legislations related to gender-based violence. Furthermore, FIDA Nigeria in all its branches, FIDA Nigeria has 36 branches across the country. So FIDA Nigeria in all its branches remain committed to collaborating with other stakeholders in finding lasting solutions to eliminating the issues of violence against women in all its forms, be it physical, economical, verbal, sexual, emotional, and psychological. As we intensify efforts to preventing and eliminating violence against women and girls, we appeal to all Nigerian citizens to join hands in this call remain resolute in speaking out against all forms of violence, encourage and support victims to speak up, report all suspicious activities of any form of violence against women and girls, amplify voices against discrimination against women in lopsided appointments in government, and be the vanguards of a better and improved Nigeria. FIDA Nigeria remains committed in protecting, promoting, and preserving the rights of women and children and we continue to provide free legal representation and advice to survivors of rape and other forms of gender-based violence across the states of the Federation and in Abuja in particular. Let us join and contribute to conversations on gender-based violence by adopting the hashtags below. Hashtag generation equality, hashtag orange the world, hashtag 16 days and spread the word. Hashtag respect no to rape. Stop all forms of culture of silence. No means no. FIDA says no to violence against women and girls. FIDA Abuja cares. Thank you.